six, Jim Roberts. And a guard, number 50, Pete Sheerhart. And the other guard, number 68, Mark Kurtz. And a tackle, number 70, Willie Baker. At center, number 74, Jason Hayes. At tackle, number 76, John Shellman. And at an end, number 84, Randy Keith. Football blows over. The official for today's game, our journey in the boot will be Mike Bob Brody, Michael Parsons, Charles Baker, blows over again. Deckerville is taking the wind here. The wind is coming out of the southwest here this afternoon. So we'll try and do it one more time. And he approaches the ball, and here's the boot. Good end over end kick. To the 21 22 yard line Matt on the carry for the Redskins was Matt Peterson. He gets it out to the 22 yard line, line and that's where Clinton will have it first and 10. Both of these yeah, teams basically are running football teams. Uh, Jacob Bell has put out about 2,500 yards rushing this year. But defensively, it appears they are susceptible a little bit to the pass. We'll see if the Redskins can exploit that. And the Redskins uh, have been known to pass uh, when they want to, and uh, they'll probably start uh, with a ground game. They give it off to the fullback going off left tackle on the first kill. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. And the kill is Goodman. We're going to give him a gain of three. It'll be second down, seven yards to go for the Redskins now. I want to pass along uh, some sponsorship notes. Um, Hardwoods of Michigan, along with Kutcher, Oshawa, Funeral Home, sponsoring today's ballgame. Back to pass. Here's Phil Camp, looking for a receiver. He's got him covered by Hill Run. He's to the 25. He's got a cross line. He's got a scramble. He's got to see. He was at the 29 yard line when he went down. And Deckerville has recovered. Stevens on the recovery for Deckerville, so Clinton coughs up the football on the first Stop. series. And now Deckerville has it first and ten. First and the Clinton 29 yard line. Bad break that time for Felkamp. He had some running room. He cut back across the green, but he got hit from the side and coughed it up. Yeah, there was definitely some running room out there, but somebody grabbed his arm and the ball popped loose. And a big break for Deckerville and see if they can take advantage. Power eye to the left side. They give it off. Off tackle on the carry. Jerome Perelski. He took about three yards down to the 26-yard line. Sheerhart on the stop for Clinton. We'll call it a three-yard gain to the 26, second and seven. Again, the power eye. And again, they give it off to Perel or he carries it down to the 25-yard line. Bruce, he's a he the yard. It'll be third Stop down, down and six. Here on six. the stop for Clinton. Second down, third down rather, six yards to go now. For De the Deckerville Eagles. Again, they come in with two tight ends and a power eye to the left side. That's the short side of the field. Now they give it back on the count of the other way. Breaking a tackle and close to the first down on the carry. That was Larry Wolf, their big running back. They're going to mark him at the 20 yard line. So he picks up five and it'll bring up fourth down the yard to go now. Dean Thorold coming in for, check that, Bob. Ochoa coming in for Clinton. And now they come up with a wing to the wide side. The backs are split. Fourth of the yard. They'll give it off. Close to the first down. They're going to have to measure. 
was Peruski on the carry. Peruski the ball carrier. And that's going to be very close to the first down. Very close. Going to be very close here. That's right. And they're going to have to call a timeout for a measure. It would be a real lift here if uh, the Redskins uh, could hold on this one and uh, take away the psychological advantage that Deckerville came up with on the fumble just a few moments ago. So they're bringing in the chains right now, and they're going to measure, and uh, this is our first uh, critical point of the ball game. Now well, they'll stretch the chains. Looks like they got it by the nose of the football. Oh, maybe not. Boy, they're going to give it to him. It is just the nose of the football. That was close enough that everybody here at the football field kind of held their breath. And a big sigh of relief uh, on the Deckerville partisans and uh, putting people not agreeing with the call, but it was that close, folks. First and 10 at the 19-yard line for Deckerville. Driving after recovering a Clinton fumble. Now they come with a wing to the left side, the short side of the field. Two tight ends. And they give it off to Wolf on the carry straight ahead. He gets a couple down about the 18-yard line. Check it, it was Cleveland on the carry. Got Cleveland the ball here. Just first carry of the ball game gets two yards. Second down and eight. I guess uh, the big backs that uh, Deckerville relies on all year, according to scouting reports, uh, Wolf, Cleveland, and Peruski. You're going to hear their names a lot this afternoon. Uh, Deckerville did not throw that many times this year. Mostly they did it on the ground, averaging about 270 yards rushing a game. Again, they come with a wing to the short side of the field and the two tight ends. And back to pass. Here's Doug. He rolls out to the right, looking. It's tipped in the air. Incomplete. Making the deflection for Clinton was house right. Good coverage that time as they try to cross the Redskins up and he ran on a second and eight. It goes incomplete the first pass of the day. That will bring up now a third down and eight yards to go. Now, Deckerville does have a good kicker. They brought a, a kicking net along with them. And, of course, the wind is at their back here in this corner, and that could be a factor here if they can't pick up the first down. And he was kicking them through the uprights from uh, about 35 yards out. So uh, he does have a good leg if they need it. Wing left, short side of the field again. The backs are split. And on the counter, they come back the other way. This is Wolf on the carry, and he's got the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. That's right on the stop. That was Cleveland. He's close to the first down. Looks like he got enough yardage. He did. He picked up the eight yards necessary on a third and eight. Yards, big of that time by now looking for Wolf, and they're going to the other people. And uh, there's a little cross buck in the back uh, where the backs cross uh, as the handoff uh, is exchanged there. Uh, seems to be giving uh, the Redskins a little trouble. First and goal to go from the nine. Rolling out to the right. Day. He throws out the play. Incomplete. Two behind us intended receiver. That was clear. They'll bring up a second and ten, and so far I'm kind of wondering how Deckerville's throwing the ball. They, uh, they've had good success running the football, and uh, I don't think that is even their starting quarterback out there at that point. It's uh, number five, Ivan Fortuzniak, maybe, and uh, I just caught that. I don't know if, how long he's been in there, maybe the you know, last couple plays, but uh, the play anyway went awry, and it's uh, second down coming up. Second and goal for the nine, full house backfield. Now give it off to the first man, that is Wolf on the carry. He gets it down to about the second yard line, gets two yards. That'll bring up third down and goal to go now from the Clinton. Two, seven yard line. Wolf now has been limited to just seven yards on two carries. And you're right, Steve, it is for Tuzniak in at quarterback. The senior. He gets it inside the five to the four-yard line, gets three. <laughs> and that'll bring up a fourth and goal to go. And, and they ran the counter back to the middle of the field. I think they were going for the field goal. Yeah, it looks like uh, that was possibly what was going to happen. And uh, well, Chuck John was the first to attempt. Uh, and we'll see, uh, see if that is indeed what they're going to do. Fourth down, and I guess about four. Fourth and goal from the four-yard line.
Kick off. Albertson get a booted away again. Line drive kick this time. Kicked out by an up man at the 20, 25, 30 yard. Second and six. Bear in mind that the Eagles have a uh, big defensive line out there for the Clinton Redskins to work against, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how that uh, plays itself out here this afternoon uh, if Clinton can neutralize that. This time uh, the Redskins come out of it now. A slot to the short side of the field. Now the wingman comes in motion to the right side. Belkamp on the action. Trying to spot where they mark it now. Goes from the 42 down to the, we're going to call it the 27 yard line, a 15 yard gain. And a first down for Clinton, their first of the ball game. From the 27, again, the slot to the short side. Wing wide, the wing being in motion to the short side. They give it up to Goodman. He's got two blocks. Good To about the 23 yard line. He's going to pick up four. It'll be second down now. And six yards to go on the Clinton offensive line now uh, beginning to open some holes. Yeah, exert itself, that's right. And uh, interesting, uh, the play a couple uh, couple plays ago, uh, Feldkamp uh, breaking it open uh, was the same kind of play that he fumbled on a little bit ago. So he is finding some running room out there. From the 23-yard line, Feldkamp Fel fumbles the football but falls on it. Makes the recovery himself, but he'll lose two yards back to the 25-yard line. Come on now, man. Don't so that's going to bring up a here. third down and eight oh, yards to go now the for the Indians. Be third nine. So that's, uh, again, a costly mistake. That's the second fumble by Paul Camp in the ball game. First one leading to a Deckerville field goal. House right comes out wide to the right side. Slot right, that's the short side of the field. And on the option, here comes Falcon. He wants the cut. Oh, the Falcon will cover that very well. Falcon fumbled the ball, but they'd already blown the whistle down. They'd already blown the ball down. Falcon is going to be brought down for about a yard, two yards gain. His forward progress was down to the 23 yard line. Gain four yards, it'll be fourth and five. They're going to mark him at the 22-yard line. So that's going to bring up a fourth and five as he picks up three on that play. And the Redskins are going to go for it now. Fourth and five from the 22-yard line. Slot to the wide side. And again, here comes Felkin on the action. He's going to be grabbed down. Looks like he's got the first down. At about the 16-yard line. Okay, here's a first down. From the 16-yard line. Well, let's give uh, Clinton Redskins credit for doing some good blocking out there and uh, neutralizing their man and making room for Feldkamp. Uh, he has had a couple of uh, times there where he could have uh, just turned the ball upfield. And House right to go wide to the right side. It's Arnold in the slot. this time in the backfield and they'll give it to the second man. They're going to have to uh, soften a little bit. That's the middle and that's exactly what happened up 
Just one more advantage. Position, six foot one ninety, and a uh, good number of uh, Clinton Redskins 
have earned their stripes, uh, you might see this year in the past, and this time uh, you can see why. And it looks like we're going to have a, a punt here on the part of the Eagles. From the 49-yard line, the house right is back deep to receive. It was a low snap, and they get it away. Big kick! House right calling for a fair catch. Back at about the 13-yard line. Really took it out two guys. So that was a 13-yard A big punt moves Clinton back to the 13 yard line, and that's where they'll have it first and 10, 38 yards on the kick. But the Redskins have the ball with five seconds left to go here in the first quarter. I don't even think uh, the Redskins will be able to get a, they may not be able to get a, well, they're not going to wind the clock and change the possession. So one more play here in the quarter. Housewright comes wide to the right, Arnold's in the slot. Goodman and Roberts, and they give off the Goodman on right tackle. He's across the 15, still on his feet to about the 17 or 18. The play will end the first quarter with the score. It's Clinton 8 and Deckerville 3. The second quarter action right after this timeout. 8-3. to three. We'd like to thank our sponsors for making this broadcast possible, including Hart. And here's John with the play-by-play. Clinton comes out, house right, wide to the right side. Arnold in the slot, the short side of the field. Roberts on the wing, Feldkamp back to pass. He wanted to dump it off. Looked like uh, they were trying to set up a screen out in the right flat and goes incomplete. So that is the first pass by the Redskins here in the game. It goes incomplete. And Clinton quickly to the line in a uh, hurry up play call. And again, house right, wide right. Arnold in the slot. Back to pass, Feldkamp over the middle. He was looking for the tight end that time and batted down by Cleveland. So that one goes incomplete. So Clark goes to the hurry up offense, up by trying to pick up a couple of quick fir uh, first downs, and, and they wind up with a fourth down no. and six, and they have to kick it away. Well, it's a good thing that uh, Feldkamp put a little zip on that ball because I'll tell you, Cleveland had nothing but real estate in front of him. Uh, had that uh, been picked off, so it's a punting situation for the Clinton Redskins. And uh, here we go. Here's the kick. And over in. Not a, not a good pick, but it takes a good roll for the last kick. Doesn't matter how you get it down there, just so you do, I guess. Neckerville has it first and 10 now from the own 31 yard line. Wing to the right, short side of the field, and on the option for Tuesday, he doesn't find any right room in there to bring him down quickly was Keith. Just cheer hard. Cheer hard. He cheer hard. Brings him down, we'll give him a yard on the play, second down. And nine yards to go. Yeah, it's not uh, pronounced like it's spelled there. It's, uh, it's pronounced sure heart, but uh, it begins with T there, John. So you'll have to get used to that throughout the afternoon. <laughs> kind of st st stuck there. Couldn't yeah. get it out. Second and nine. Will go. Wing this time to the right, the wide, or the left, rather, the wide side of the field. Backs are split. On the counter, we get a flag down before the play's run. Deckerville going to the counter play, and we're going to get an illegal procedure call against Deckerville. Their first penalty of the ball game for five yards. That'll bring up a second down at 14. And right now, it looks like that the Clinton defense beginning to get things together. They gave up that, uh, that field goal on the early turnover, but they limited Deckerville to just three plays the last possession, and they shut them down here on this play. Well, Coach Scott McNett is really proud of uh, the job that the Redskins have done over the years uh, on defense, and uh, right now it's uh, rearing its head against Deckerville. They come with a wing to the left, the wide side of the field, and two tight ends. Back split rolling out. Pass out in the flat is down. And the coverage is well restored. Certainly, and he bats it away. The pass goes. 
Did come clean. Play by That'll bring up a third down now in 13. And we've had five, five passes in the ball game, and we have yet to get a completion. And that's uh, probably about their average number of passes that they have in a ball game, too. So they're uh, trying to open it up a little bit more than uh, the Deckerville Club is uh, used to doing, according to their statistics that they passed along to us earlier. In case you're just joining us, Clinton is on top here in the second quarter by a score of 8-3. And this time, Deckerville comes out, Cleland on the wing to the left side. The backs are split with two tight ends, and the pitch back coming. Looking for right one there, right the there. Corner. Clinton, Ruski on the carry. He gets out to the 26-yard line. Got to the 26-yard line, so that'll bring up now. Check it till you get to the 31, I should say. And that'll bring up a fourth down and 10 yards to go. Here's the kick. End over end. Field it off the third. 40 on now, 45. House right on the return. So Clinton will have pretty good field position. First and 10 at the 49. And the ball for Deckerville uh, had a little problem fielding that ball and uh, gave everybody a little scare there for a moment. But he did uh, finally grab the handle and punt it away. And the uh, house right coming up with a nice return. Here come the Redskins, first and 10. Redskins have it first and 10 at their own 49-yard line. That was a 29-yard punt by Deckerville. Arnold in motion to the short side, take the handoff, no running room. And the defensive end got in there very quickly. That was Tom Stevens for Deckerville. They tried to get Arnold to sweep around the left side. He's going to lose four yards back to the 45-yard line, second and 14. I believe there was a missed block in there somewhere on that one uh, because he got in there really fast and uh, put the hit on on the Clinton ball carrier, and uh, with nine minutes to go here in the second quarter, Clinton by uh, a score of eight to three on top. Slot this time to the right side. They got Roberts on the wing left. He goes in motion to the wide side. Here on the option, Feldkamp looking, pitches it back to Roberts. He's to the 45. and he just saved a touchdown for Deckerville. Uh, good job of running that time and uh, brings up uh, another first down for the Clinton Redskins and they are on the march once again having no trouble with the Deckerville defense to this point. Fourth first down for the Redskins. They come out with a slot to the short side. Arnold in the slot. Roberts on the wing to the left. He goes in motion to the short side and back to pass the other way. Here's Feldkamp. He steps up in the pocket. Now he's going to run. He cuts it to the left side. He's to the 35 yard line. the 28-yard line. He'll pick up seven. It'll be second down and three. Well, Feldkamp showing a lot of cool back there and uh, wise judgment on his part to uh, pull it back in because uh, his receivers were covered well and uh, when he does tuck it away, he obviously knows how to run quite well. In case you missed our pregame show, the uh, leading rusher for the Clinton Redskins is not playing today. That, of course, is uh, Kevin Williams and uh, we hope his ankle gets better, but right now Feldkamp is picking up the slack. This time the Redskins send Peterson wide to the right side and they're in a wishbone in the backfield. First time we've seen this look today. And they give it off to the fullback, first man straight ahead and he gets very little yardage. That was Roberts on the carry. First phase of the triple option, he doesn't gain anything. Call it no game, and they'll pick up a third down and four yards to go now for the Redskins. We have seven minutes and 19 seconds to play here in the first half and it's Clinton eight and Deckerville three. Redskins come up again. This time they've got a power line to the wide side, two tight ends. Third and four. And we get a false start by the Clinton offensive line. That'll be an illegal procedure call. There's second penalty of the ball game for 20 yards. And they'll now look at a third down and nine instead of third down and four. Uh, sometimes when a penalty is called, uh, everybody looks around and says, who me? But uh, that time there was about five guys that uh, made some motion on the line and they were all guilty, John. We'll 
we'll see what call the Redskins come up with. They're going to take a timeout and talk it over. So we've got six minutes, 53 seconds to play in the first half. And a timeout to score. It is Clinton 8, Deckerville 3. And we'll be right back. And we'll see if the Redskins, who've tried a couple of passes in the ball game but haven't made a completion, uh, decide whether or not to put it up here. They may decide to keep it on the ground and uh, four down territory, take two cracks at it instead of one. That's right, and we've got a, a good kicker. Uh, and Tori Chouquette, he's done a good job uh, this year of kicking a uh, game-winning field goal in the closing minutes of the Heidi game. Here's Paul Kemp straight back. He wants to set up the screen over the middle. It's batted down. They tried that middle screen, and in there quickly to bat it down was Dean Roberts at 6'5", 225 pounds. Paul Kemp couldn't get it over the top of him, and that'll bring up a fourth down and nine from the 34-yard line. Yeah, when you've got a screen set up there, you don't want to have to throw it over a tree, and that's basically what happened there. Six foot five, 225 pounds, and when he leaped in the air, uh, no way you're going to get that over him. Now they had the screen set up. It was the right play call, but they couldn't get it up over the hand of Roberts. The Redskins are going to keep kicking away. Choquette will kick from the 34. And he's going to try and pin Deckerville deep, and it goes into the end zone. And hit it about the three-yard line and in scoots the into the end zone. So the Redskins and the 34-yard punter are only going to pick up. Jacob Arnold had a shot at it down there, and also did House right, but uh, couldn't quite come up with the uh, the pin, you might say. Well, at that 34-yard punt, they're only going to pick up 14 yards in field position as Deckerville will have it first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. We'd like to thank uh, our sponsors for making the broadcast possible, including Hardwoods of Michigan, located here in Clinton, as well as the Kutcher Oshalak Funeral Homes of Clinton and Tecumseh. This time, Deckerville comes out in a wide slot to the right side, the wide side of the field. And they hand it off to the first man on the carry. Gets out to about the 25-yard line. I think it, we think it's Wolf. Wait to see. Yeah, it was Wolf on the carry. Gets out. He gets a five-yard gain up to the 25-yard line. Maybe. Second down and five yards to go. They've held Wolf down a little bit. He's got 15 yards on four carries. So he hasn't ripped off any big runs against the Redskins here in the first half. This time the Eagles come out again with a wide slot to the wide side. And on the rollout, here's the quarterback. He's going to be brought down for no gain on the play for Tuesday. Looks like he was going to try and turn the corner to the left side and then cut back against the green. And Bart Kirk brings him down along with Goodman. No gain on the play at the 25-yard line. They'll bring up a third down now. And five yards to go for the Deckerville Eagles. Clock moving at 5.40 to play in the first half. It's Clinton 8, Deckerville 3. This time, Deckerville sends Stevens wide to the left side. They have the Cleeler. Wolf is in the slot. And they give it off to the first man. Maybe a yard long. That was Cleveland on the carry, and he gains nothing. Bob Ochoa on the stop for the Redskins, along with the Goodman. No gain on the play, it'll bring up fourth and five, and Deckerville will be forced to kick the football once again. Back to the Clinton Redskins. Ball off at the 25-yard line. House right is back deep to receive, along with Roberts. Portuzniak will kick it away. High snap, but he brings it down and gets it away. It's a spiral, a high spiral. The Redskins are just going to let it roll, and it takes the Deckerville bounce. Finally, we'll be down at about the 41-yard line. So they get a uh, pretty good punt on the play, 44 yards on the kick. And then it'll bring up a first and 10 for Clinton at their own 41-yard line. So the Redskins, again, with pretty decent field position. Uh, this is the third time they've started outside their own 40-yard line, but uh, they are only able to capitalize on the one touchdown. We had a flag down on the play, apparently, and Clinton's going to lose on the field position. I don't know, I think to call the official listed a clip. 
There's the flag. The flag is out around midfield. Apparently it was... Well, they call clipping against the cut, or Clinton, but if they call it clip, it has to be on the run back. It doesn't mean Deckerville should get the first down in the football. That's got to be a penalty from the 41-yard line back into their territory. You, the clip would have had to occur on the change of possession. And, of course, that's what Coach Scott McNitt's trying to say. How can you call a clip on my run back if I'm going to lose possession of the ball? Hey, it's going rip! Here it is, uh, Coach McNett, obviously, shaking his head. And uh, looks like Deckerville's going to maintain possession of the football. I don't understand. You've got to be kidding me. If it's on the run back, it's got to be Clinton's football. But instead, it's going to give Deckerville a first down. A first and ten on the clip at the 40-yard line. If that occurred after the ball was punted, then the ball had changed possession and it had to come back on the run back. But apparently what they're going to say is that the clip occurred and, and Clinton never fielded the ball, so they never had possession. That's the only thing I can understand. Pitchback comes to Wolf now as he tries to turn the corner. No running around there. And the rest is running out of bounds. Arnold on his Clinton. And Wolf gets, we're going to give him a yard to the 41 yard line and call it second down. And nine yards to go now. So the penalties have been costly to Clinton. That's their third for 35 yards here in the first half. But the defense has been holding Deckerville down. Second down and nine as they come out. Cleveland on the wing to the wide side. Now he moves back. It's another setback in the full house tee. Or Tuzniak giving to the second man, Wolf, trying right tackle, and he gets about four yards out to the 45-yard line to bring up a third down and five. Making the stop, Oshawa for Clinton. Baker also in on the hit, along with Sargent. It's going to be third and five. Well, we've got the clock running at uh, about 3.40 to go here in uh, the first half, Great. and after the... Uh, fumble on the first series of plays for Clinton. Clinton has pretty much had their way here, and uh, they'd like to escape here with a halftime lead of 8-3, to three, which is what it is right now. Three, third and five for Tuesday at giving to the second man, Cleveland. He's not going to pick up the first down. Oh, nice 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 to the 47-yard line, but it's going to bring up a fourth and three now. Fourth and three for Deckerville. Stop by Clinton and Kirk. It looks like they're going to once again be forced to kick the football away from their own 47-yard line. Nope. This time they've got back. somebody else in that hunter. For Tuesday at the quarterback is an up man. Oh, and the quarterback's back there, the up man. Perowski back in as the punter. They're going to go for it. Yeah. And Perowski's going to kick it away this time. A good high kick. Clinton's just going to let it roll. It'll go inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. 34-yard punt. 34-yard punt. And the Redskins have it first and 10. We'll call it the 20-yard line with two minutes and 44 seconds to play here in the first half. We'll see if the Redskins can get one more drive to the end zone. Now, Red, let's go. Go, Red, go! They break down with Housewife, wide to the right side. Robert, no, Arnold in the slot to the right. Eye in the backfield. Goodman and Roberts. Roberts the tailback. Arnold goes in motion to the wide side. And they give it off to Roberts, looking for running room straight ahead. And he gets it across the 20, out to about the 22-yard line. Gets a couple. That'll bring up second Robert down and eight. Walker. Well, of course, the winner of this game Steven. will take on the winner of the Manchester Marinci contest. And uh, we will have that game on WLEN Radio later on this evening, as well as the Adrian College Olivet College football game immediately after this one right here on WLEN with Sound of Sports. Going on wide to the right side now is Peterson. Again, Arnold's in the slot. Roberts on the wing to the short side. He goes in motion to the wide side on the option. Here's Feldkamp looking. Now he pitches to Roberts. He's to the 25. They're going to mark it at 
the 36-yard line, a pick up a 14 and a first down. Well, they ran the option to Robert, the first time. Nine yards, and uh, with 142 to go here in the first half, Flynn again on the mark, picking up a big first down here. And uh, if the Redskins don't score, at least they want to run out the clock and uh, go out at halftime uh, on a score of 8 to 3 on top. That was a gain of 9 yards and first and 10 at the 31 yard line. Here's a good bit of first down. So hang on here, folks. Redskins are still mounting an offensive down. attack. They really haven't had uh, a lot of problems with uh, the yardage. They've mounted up a good number of uh, offensive yards uh, on this tough Deckerville defense. And in case you heard the uh, uh, pregame show, we mentioned that uh, out of all the victories that they've had this year, Deckerville, we're talking about, they have uh, a good number of shutouts. I believe six shutouts. So we said six shutouts, and the only time they gave up points, they, they had trouble. So uh, you can score on them, the Redskins have already here in the first.
The individual rushing leaders for Deckerville, the leading rusher is Larry Wolf with 20 on five carries. Feldkamp has 32 yards and seven carries, and Goodman has picked up 29 yards on six carries. The scoring went like this. Deckerville opened the scoring with 6.29 to play in the first quarter as Albertson kicked a 22-yard field goal to cap a 25-yard drive in 11 plays. Recovering a Clinton fumble to set them up for the uh, score, and Deckerville led 3-0. Clinton came right back uh, on the ensuing possession and with 2.11 to play in the first quarter, Bellcamp on a one-yard quarterback sneak went in for the touchdown. He then hit, he then passed to uh, his tight end keep for the two-point conversion to give the Redskins an 8-3 lead, capping a 46-yard drive in nine plays, which was set up by a 34-yard kickoff return by Tori Touquette. And that's what got the Clinton Redskins going and staked them to this 8-0 lead here at halftime. So we're getting ready for the start of the second half. The two teams are warming up on the sidelines. And of course, the Redskins will have the option in the, excuse me, I should say, Deckerville will have the option in the second half, and I'm pretty sure that they're gonna wanna receive the football. Uh, Clinton will be kicking off. Uh, we don't have, uh, the breeze not as much of a factor now, I don't think, as it was when we started the football game. Then it is to find the right house. But that's not true at first bedroom of life. by the score of 24 to 8 at halftime, Doug. All right, we'll look forward to the final score. Thank you. Thanks, Randy. And right now, the Clinton Redskins are on top, 8-3 to three here at right, halftime, half just getting underway in the second half. They have it first and 10 at the Redskin 49-yard line. They come out with a wing to the short side of the field, two oh. tight ends. Or two's the act, back to pass. Down the goal, he's looking to run away. And he's going to be brought down. Robert sitting on the stop, breaking down for a two-yard game. Stop by Robert. To the 47-yard line, so it'll be second down and eight yards to go. Uh, Wolf trying to give a yeah, square there, and, uh, and Roberts would have none of that and fought it off and did a good job bringing the ball carrier down here to bring up a second down and eight to go. The ball at the Redskin 47-yard line just under action, underway here action in the second half. This time Wolf is on the wing to the wide side of the field. Backs are split. Or Tuzniak on the give to the second man. And the car breaks the tackle. He's to the 40. He's got the first down to about the 38 yard line. On the carry that was done for Tuzniak. His first carry of the ball game. He goes from the 47. They're going to spot it at the 38. A nine yard pickup and a first down. It looks like maybe uh, Deckerville came out a little fired up. Probably got uh, chewed on a little bit by their coach at halftime. And they're coming out uh, playing some inspired play right now. Again, Wolf is on the wing to the line side. First and 10 from the Clinton 38. Ford is Tuzniak. He's going to be stopped. Right in the backfield. Again, that was Bird. Atua. Stacking up that play. And Arnold bringing the carrier down for a loss on the play. That was Perolski. He's going to lose a yard. It'll be second and 11. Yeah, they did a good job that time uh, fighting through their box and uh, meeting the ball carrier head on and gang tackling him uh, on that play. And, the Redskins are doing a good job of gang tackling this afternoon. Arnold got the credit for the tackle, but it was Ochoa who stopped it up. It'll be second and 11. Again, the wing to the wide side. Back to pass for Tuzniak. Looking for Cooley in the tackle. He's a pass. Oh, 
Clinton territory. That game goes from a 14-yard loss, and it'll bring up third down now at about 25. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> you look down at the other end of the field and find out where they have to go for a first down. Looks like a long, long way right now, so the Clinton defense has uh, come back here. Or Tuzniak with two tight ends, and here comes the wide pitch, and you go in the reverse. As I said a few moments ago, Deckerville came out and looked like they were ready to uh, run it down their throats. And uh, Clinton defense got stingy that time. And uh, ever since that time, they've regained the momentum of the football. So, bring up a coming situation for the Eagles. Kowalski will cut from the 43. And here's the kick, a good spiraling kick. House right has it at the 20. First and ten at the round, 33 yard line. For the Clinton Redskins. Clinton breaks out, House Red comes wide to the right side. Arnold's in the slot, the short side of the field, high in the backfield. Goodman, Roberts is the tailback. He gets the call off right tackle, breaks the tackle, gets the tail to 35. Gains a couple before he's brought down. That'll bring up a second down. And eight yards to go for the Redskins. After a yard gain, it'll be second and nine from the 35-yard line. Second down now. Just under way here, Clinton's first possession of the third quarter, and they lead it by the score of eight to three. Roberts on the wing to the wide side. Arnold in the slot goes in motion to the wide side. They give it to him. Now here's Roberts on the wing. And uh, again, they are marching down the field uh, from our left to our right. Looking good. That was a wing back reverse that time. This time they have a slot to the short side. Arnold in the slot. Roberts is on the wing. Arnold in motion to the wide side. They'll get off to Goodman, and he runs into a man, breaks the tackle, gets it inside the 35 to the 34. He gets a yard. Cleveland on the stop for Deckerville. So we're going to give him a yard and call it second down and nine yards to go now from the 34-yard line of Deckerville. 6.23 to play in the third quarter. It's Clinton 8 and Deckerville 3. This time it's Patterson going out wide to the right side. Arnold in the slot. Roberts on the wing to the left side. Unbalanced line this time to the short side to give it off to Roberts. He tries to muscle his way ahead off. Tackle. Uh, runs him down to about the 31-yard line. He gets about three. We'll call it third down and six yards to go now. That time uh, Clinton came out with an unbalanced line to the short side. Had a lot of blocking over there, but Deckerville did a pretty good job of st stacking it up. Right, uh, This time to give it up. No, here comes the pitchback to Arnold. He's trying to get some rain on him, and he's going to be brought down. A good open field tackle by Fortuzniak, the quarterback. And he brings Arnold down for a loss on the play of about a yard. That'll bring up fourth down and about seven yards to go now for the Redskins. The ball is on the 32 yard line. Replacing Felkamp, so apparently the. Redskins are going to bring out the punting unit. They got the punting unit on from the 32-yard line. The snap goes back to Joe Kett, and he kicks it away, end over end, and it's going to roll into the end zone. 
good effort. Good They're only really going to gain 12 yards in field position. I'm a little surprised by the call. Yeah, I am too, a little bit. Uh, probably uh, because of the time of game there, I suppose, if it was a little later in the ball game, I might go for it. But uh, playing a little conservative this time, and uh, we'll see if it comes up smelling up roses for uh, the Clinton Redskins. So Deckerville has it first and 10 from the 20. They tried to pin him back deep in the their own zone, but they didn't get the roll, and he goes into the end zone. So Deckerville has it first and 10. They've got Wolf on the wing to the right side. Backs are split in the backfield. Fort Tuzniak giving to the second man. He gets out to the 24-yard line on the carry. And that was Fort Tuzniak is. Sherhart making the stop. That was uh, Ben Fortuzniak. He picks up four yards in the second and six. I hope you like saying that word, Fortuzniak, because it's, uh, you got a couple guys by that name. Jaggerville again comes out. They've got Wolf on the wing to the wide side. Back split. Here comes the pitch back. The flag goes down as the pitch went back to Peruski. So we got a penalty on Deckerville. Procedure call. Their second penalty for 10 yards. Stay tuned with us. We'll try and keep you updated on that Britain situation. That's a kind of a surprise. As uh, Britain, uh, the first team in the history of the Michigan High School Football playoffs to get in with a losing record is a shocking peck here at halftime, 24 to 8. The Tories on top. See if they can maintain that in the second half. Under four minutes to play here in the third quarter. Second down. And 11 yards to go now. Fortuzniak straight back to pass, trying to set up the score. So from the 19 back to the 6, they'll lose 13 yards on that carry. And bring up a third down nine and a long, long way to go. Pass, Red. Third down. 23. 23. They've got to get all the way out to the 30-yard line for a first down. The ball is at the 7. Wolf on the wing to the wide side. Backs are split. Fortuzniak with a half back pass. He's looking for the tight end deep. It goes a long pass. No line intercepted by a house ride, but it goes incomplete. Intended out there for Richard Hamill. They want to play. The Deckerville coach upset that he gets a pass interference call on the play. I love Bo Schembechler on the far sides over there. Doing everything but throwing his uh, headphone, I suppose. There were a few bodies on the ground, but uh, no call. Well, they got kind of tangled up with one another, and it's got to be, uh, the official has to read it as an intentional uh, type of an interference play. And I don't think he was going to get the call there. So now Deckerville will have to kick it away from the six-yard line. As that pass goes incomplete. Don't rub the fire. Yeah, really. Fourth down, and they'll have to punt from kick the six. It, Flag. Flag is down and the kick is away. Arnold takes it at the 45 to the 40, the 35, the 40, another flag down the 25. So we've got a flag down at the line of scrimmage and another on the run back. So we're going to have to wait to see what this is all about. It could be offsetting penalties. We might wind up with a new another uh, punt on this play. Waiting for it's an illegal procedure against Deckerville. And then we've also got a flag on the run back. Clipping against Clinton on the run back. They have a legal procedure against We're going to get another punt. And of course, we get to the Redskins. But they're talking to Goodman, the Clinton captain. And they apparently.
Apparently they're going to give them a choice, either force another punt or Clinton can take... I don't see how they have that option. If there's two penalties, I don't see how there could be any option. Why they're even talking to the Clinton captain. Don't normally do that. That may have been a spot. Right, that may have been a spot. Don't do that. Doesn't make sense. So it's going to be a walk-off. Half the distance to the goal. The penalty for a field. So the dead ball foul on the punt. And they'll have to kick it again. There's no option. It's their third penalty for 13 yards. Ball foul half the distance to the goal. The ball three down to line. three and four. Okay, now, Red, watch out. Now, Red, play carefully here. And back deep to receive along with House Wright. They're offsetting penalties, so there is no penalty. And they move it back to the six, and we'll kick it again. And that one took a while to get resolved, and now we're set, ostensibly. The penalty's off set. To go so with the kick. Here out. goes the kick back. Pressure by Clinton, but a good kick. How's it Oh, 
was Sergeant, also Kirk. Pickup of about seven. For Jusniak was still for us by ball carrier. Pickup of seven, it'll be second down and three. It'll be second and three. Karuski now with just 15 yards on six carries as Deckerville has not been able to move the football on the ground against this Redskin defense. Slot left the wide side of the field. Portuzian gives it off again to his brother, I believe. The other Portuzian. And he gets it out to the 20... The 35-yard line is where they'll mark it. Pick up two. And that'll bring up third down and a yard to go. Black moving now, under a minute to play here. Jacobville comes out of the slot to the right side. Again, Wolf is in that slot. That's the short side of the field. Portuzian giving to the second man, breaks the tackle, he's got the first down on the carry. That was Wolf. Goodman on the stop, but it's a pickup of three and a first down. First we may not get another playoff before the end of the quarter. No, they will not get another playoff. That's going to end the third quarter of play here from Clinton with the score at Clinton 15. Deckerville 3 will be back with a final quarter of action right after this timeout. And we'd like to thank our sponsors for making the broadcast possible, including the Kutcher Oceanland General Home and Hartwoods of Michigan. First play of the fourth quarter. Oh, scramble for the ball. That's the first fumble of the game by Deckerville, and they do make the recovery. They're going to wind up picking up a yard to the 39-yard line. The Wolf falls on the loose ball, gains a yard. Second down, nine yards to go. Deckerville needing to get some offense now. They've been limited unofficially to just 62 yards in total offense so far in the ballgame. And they're going to have to uh, score twice here to uh, take the lead away from the Redskins. The uh, Redskins looking pretty uh, pretty well in control right now. Stevens wide to the left side. Wolf in the slot left. Back to pass for Kuziak. He gets it out. Wolf. I don't know if it was a completed pass or not. Apparently it was. It's going to be for negative yardage. Wolf thinks the reception is going to lose two on the completion. It'll bring up a third down now. And 11 yards to go. Oh, 
Pepsi in the eight pack of half liter bottles is just $1.99 plus deposit. Stoplight Plaza opens seven days a week in downtown Clinton. Well, Carly took the ball on their own 42 yard line and uh, marched right down the field to take uh, command of this ball game with 8.02 to go in the uh, ball game. 22 to 3 is the score. So uh, they gave up uh, the first score of the game. The Redskins did 3 to nothing. And then uh, ever since that time, John, it's been Clinton all the way. Yeah, they go 43 yards in four plays for the touchdown with uh, Roberts and Arnold picking up big gainers. And Felkamp getting the final yard, final five yards for the touchdown. Choquette with the kickoff. Hand over and it bounces at the 15. Rolls past the man and it's going to go into the end zone. So Deckerville will take over first and 10 at the 20. So we have eight minutes to go now. Clinton holds on to this. They'll play once again next weekend, either Friday or Saturday, right back here at Clinton. Taking on the winner of our third ball game tonight, the Morency Bulldogs traveling to Manchester to take on the playing Dutchman. And that should be an entertaining contest, assuming that Clinton does hold on here. And uh, every indication is that they will. And it could be an all uh, Lenaway County uh, game next week, or uh, it could be a, a repeat of an earlier game that uh, Clinton had with Manchester uh, earlier this season. Jacobville comes out in the wing, rolling out, looking for Winter! Winter! He's going to lose yardage back to about the 14-yard line. 
the 13. It'll be a loss of seven. Second down and 17. Well, in addition to being a good uh, running back, Arnold there is showing that he can also play defense as he has uh, a few times uh, in this ball game and done it very well. And uh, that time he just brought down the ball carrier uh, for a big loss. Clock moving with 7.25 to play in the game. Deckerville breaks out of their huddle. They'll go with Wolf on the wing to the left side, the wide side of the field. Two tight ends, and the backs are split. This time on the inside counter, nothing going. You know, all this talk about uh, Deckerville having a big line and so on, uh, the Redskins apparently said, uh, so what? Because they've been beating them up pretty good this afternoon, uh, very quick off the ball and uh, beating the blocks and uh, ending up in the backfield many, many times over this afternoon. So you have to give that Clinton line a lot of credit. Third down and 20 now for Deckerville. This time, Cleland's on the wing to the left side. Fort the X straight back, setting up the screen on the flag, gets it to Kowalski, but he's going to be brought yeah. down. Yeah. 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 For Deckerville. How many first downs is, uh, have the Eagles got this afternoon? Well, they've got a total of seven. Actually, they got more here in the second half than they did in the first half, mostly because of that opening drive in the second half. Perowski will go back to kick it away, and again, Clinton not exactly buying it on a fourth and 17, and this time he's going to kick it. Goes straight up in the air. Redskins are going to let it bounce. It takes a bit of a Redskin roll. They're going to mark it at the 20-yard line. That's only a seven-yard punt. Or Deckerville at the Deckerville 20-yard line. With five minutes and 25 seconds to play, we got the substitution. And Deckerville must be saying, what else can go wrong for us guys? You know, three hours, uh, they got three hours to drive home. They're going to be a down group after this. Matt Blaisdell, a sophomore, now in a quarterback. He gives out to the first man. He's going to get about five yards on the carry. Try and pick up some of the substitutions as he can. That was Brad Aaron. Brad Aaron's a loss here. Aaron gains five in the second and five. He's a junior. So, uh, as you said, Scott McNitt getting uh, some of the guys in off the bench and uh, certainly be able to call this a team victory no matter what happens here. Putting on top, 22 to three, closing minutes of the ball game. Once again, Blaisdell will bring him up. They have a, a slot to the wide side of the field. Arnold in the slot. He comes in motion to the short side. They'll give it off to the second man again. He's close to the first down. And Brad down the ball ball again. He's down to the 10, very close to that first down marker. Stopped by Cruin on the play. Close enough for a measurement. And obviously another score here would uh, put it away for sure. Second down at about five to go. And they're gonna measure for a first down. We're waiting to see if it's enough for a first down at the 10 yard line. It is a first down. It'll be first and goal to go to the 10 yard line with 427 to play. Now I think maybe they can get a first down uh, technically before getting in. Get a real dollar this time they break out. Full house backfield. Blaisdell brings him up. And they give again to Aaron, so we get a flag down on the play. Movement off. The illegal procedure against Clinton at their fifth penalty for 50 yards in the ball game. I'd like to thank our sponsors for making the broadcast possible this afternoon, including Kutcher Oshalak Funeral Hall of Clinton Entity Company and Hartwoods of Michigan, located here in Clinton.
Also would like to remind you that we're going to have the Lenaway Tire and Supply Player of the Game brought to you by Lenaway Tire right after this ball game is all over. Full house team. Blaze Dill of his quarterback. He gives it off to Aaron's again, straight ahead, and again the play goes down. So it's obviously that Clinton's doing something wrong on the backfield spot. It's going to be another procedure call against the Redskins. Aaron's walking and Well, that's about the only thing that stopped the Clinton Redskins this afternoon, I guess. And Kirkville can't do it. Uh, some of these motion penalties might do it. Stoppage of play right now. Four minutes to go in the ball game. Another five-yard walk-off, so now it's first and goal from the 20. Four point. 4.02 to play in the game, but the clock now starts and is moving. Still may, though. He may go to Peter the Redskins on top by the score of 22 to 3. He probably will. It's time to come up with a slot to the right side. Wide side of the field, we get motion again. Place. Now the officials will confer on the play. Offside against Deckerville is the call. So that'll move it back to the 15 as we trade penalties here. May take a while to play this last five minutes here, John. But the clock will move now with 335 left. Again, the Redskins will come out. This time they're in the full house tee. Blaisdell over center. And he's on the option. And he pitches it out. Looking for somebody to go 15. Down to about the 13 yard line. Number 28, Rance Langler in the ball carrier. Rance Langler on the carry gets about three yards. Three yard game. So the market at the 13, and we'll call it second and goal from there. Under three minutes down to play. Blaisdell brings him up again to the full house tee, and he'll give it straight ahead to Aaron. He gets it down to about the 10 yard line. So he'll pick up three. And that'll bring up a third down and goal from the 10. Well, the Clinton Redskins are just about ready to do something they haven't done, and that is uh, enter the second round of uh, playoff action. And as we said, uh, that'll either be in the name of the Marinci Bulldogs or the Manchester Flying Dutchman. And those two teams meet tonight in Manchester, and we'll have that game for you right here on WLEN. Flat to the right, short side of the field. In motion is the wingman. They hand it off to the first man straight ahead. He doesn't gain any yard. He's brought down right about the line of scrimmage. That was Aaron's on the carry. They're going to mark him back at the 11, so he'll lose a yard. Stop by Roberts on the play. And that'll bring up a fourth down now. Eagles who have got to be uh, really have the wind out of their sails uh, with the Clinton with a big lead here, 22 to 3 in the fourth quarter. Martinez is straight back to pass. Now he rolls out to the right, looking for someone in the flat. He'll run with it He's to the 10, to the 15, to the 16 yard line. He kicks picks up about eight, maybe nine yards on the carry. 45 seconds. Clock moving with 45 seconds to play in the game. Gain of eight. Second down, down, and two yards to go. 30 seconds down to play in the game. Wolf on the wing. 
to the wide side of the field. And here comes the inside counter to the second man. He's got the first down at Portusniak. Out to the, the 16. They mark it out to the 24. That's a gain of eight. Enjoying what the Redskins have done here this afternoon in their home field. And probably the last play of the ball game, five seconds to go. Here's Fort Tuesday, handing it off to Cleveland. Look at the ball. A home mortgage at some places can be a little confusing. Okay, now give us your complete credit history, annual salary, and kids' report cards. At Manufacturers Bank, we make choosing, applying for, and closing on a mortgage less confusing. You don't have any kids? Fill out this form instead. Because our experts at Manufacturers Bank are extremely knowledgeable when it comes to home mortgages, and they know that buying a home means a lot to you. So starting from the time you apply until you're ready to buy your next home, our staff is always available to answer every one of your questions. Unlike the staff at some other lenders. You don't know. I'd like to congratulate Jacksonville on a fine season. I'm safe to drive home. Today, uh, the the, uh, the quarterback did an excellent job. Uh, Feld Camp uh, defensively, uh, Randy Keith had a couple of really big sacks for uh, Clinton defensively. Now Bob Ochoa had a good. Game. And even though he didn't score any of the touchdowns, he set him, a lot of them up for the Redskins here today, and uh, he gets our selection as the Illinois Tire Player of the game. Well, I think very deserving too, and as we said, uh, could have gone to any number of people, but. Uh, Roberts uh, picking up the slack that was uh, left by the vacancy of uh, their big rusher, as we said this afternoon. So uh, good job with Roberts and uh, the entire uh, football team. But uh, Jim Roberts, very much indicative of the spirit and uh, character of the football team here for the Clinton Redskins this afternoon. And he's our Lenaway Tyrant Supply Player of the Game. We'll be back with more on our post-game show after we pause for these messages.